Welcome to Engineering Mechanics video lecture. In this video lecture, I am trying to explain you about force. On observing this uh, diagram, we can understand a person who is applying some force on the trolley bag in the rightward direction. The type of force which is applied on the trolley bag by the person is considered as push force. On observing this problem figure also we can understand the person who is there in the diagram who is applying force on the standing full leftward direction. In this case also the force applied by the person on the standing pole is also push. By following these two conditions we can say the push force is the force applied by the person towards the body away from the person who is applying the push force. On observing this diagrammatic representation we can understand that a person who is pulling a cart rightward direction on observing this problem figure also the person who is applying force on the standing pole towards the person this is also one of the example of pull force pull force is the force applied by the person away from the body towards the person by following all of these either it is pull or push it follows direction means that force follows direction on observing this diagrammatic representation we can say a man is standing behind the car on observing this uh, diagrammatic representation uh, we can say the man is standing in front of the car even the position of man changing from behind to in front of the car the position of car is not changing why because the man is only standing behind and in front of the car without applying any force on the car in this case the car remains in stationary until unless apply the force on the car the car remains in stationary condition. On observing this diagrammatic representation of the person and car, in this case the person is applying push force. Under the action of external force that is pull force or push force whatever may be the type of force applied by the person on the car the car may try to change or tends to change the state of rest to motion of the body in the direction of applied force direction this diagrammatic representation indicates us pull force applied by the person on the car rightward direction by following all this we can define force as follows force can be defined as an external agency which tends to change or actually changes the state of the body at rest or in motion or causes deformation in the body force is a vector quantity having a definite magnitude, a fixed line of action and a definite sense. The magnitude of pull or push 
can be estimated by the following statement the statement proposed by the newton it is newton's second law of motion according to this law the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and take place in the direction of the net force that is f proportional to delta p by delta t delta p indicates as change of momentum delta t indicates as change of time delta p indicates as mv minus mu where mv indicates as final momentum mu indicates as initial momentum delta t constrains t time duration when you take m out from the bracket we can get f is proportional to m into v minus u by t by following v minus u by t we can say that is that indicates as acceleration of the moving body under the action of external force f acceleration of the moving body represented as a a equal to v minus u by t finally we can write f is equal to k m a where k is proportionality constant under the action of one newton force on the body of 1 kg there may be a chance to get uh, acceleration of the moving body about 1 meter per second square considering f as 1 newton mass of the body consider as m equal to 1 kg then we can get acceleration of the moving body a equal to 1 meter per second square using these uh, parameters we can estimate k value as k equal to 1 then after final equation of motion we can write it as f equal to ma by following this derivation by following the newton second law of motion a force either it is pull or push it possesses definite magnitude on observing this diagram we can say a force of magnitude f which is acting at a point a that is point of application of force which is acting from a to b in the rightward direction by following this force diagram away from b when you draw a line rightward direction and also away from a leftward direction draw another line which are collinear with ab direction of the force this indicates as a line of action of f force by following all this we can define force as follows force can be defined as an external agency which tends to change or actually changes the state of the 
body at rest or in motion or causes deformation in the body and also we can state the force is a vector quantity having a definite magnitude a fixed line of action and a definite sense